In 2011, a tourist visiting Charleston, South Carolina, with her husband for the weekend, went to eat lunch at one of the city's most popular food spots, Hoogan's Porch. After putting her drink order in, the young woman excused herself to go to the bathroom, anticipating a delicious meal. After returning to her table, the woman would be surprised to see a painting of the woman she passed in the hallway. Initially believing the woman was the owner, the, the woman would soon be horrified to find out she had just seen Zoe, a ghost who roams the restaurant frequently. Stories of hauntings at the old Victorian house on 72 Queen Street have occurred for decades. It is said many people don't realize they saw the ghost until they see Zoe on the wall. Over the years, perhaps the individuals who have witnessed the most frightening events have been restaurant staff. One cook recalls his encounter that occurred early on a work morning. He stated he poured coffee, heard a knock on the back door, and went to greet a delivery man. After putting pre fresh produce in the kitchen, he returned to get his coffee and was astounded that it was missing. The chef initially believed he had misplaced it or not even poured it. Feeling confused, the chef decided to pour another cup and after returning to his stool, he was terrified to see the cup of coffee had returned. The cup was empty and had lipstick on it. Another cook reported a strange event while working alone one morning. He suddenly heard a loud noise upstairs. Startled as the alarm was set and he knew no one was upstairs, he decided to go investigate. After finding nothing, he resumed baking biscuits downstairs in the kitchen and soon heard quiet singing right next to him. He was anticipating another member of the staff was there. When he turned around, he saw no one. Other individuals have reported seeing apparitions in the restaurant. One staff member stated that cleaning one night, she had a terrible feeling something was watching her. After working a bit more, the woman looked into a mirror and discovered another woman staring at her. When the worker spoke and turned around, the ghost of Zoe, the woman, had disappeared. Apparitions aren't just reported by staff and tourists inside the restaurant, but also by people outside looking into the window. The hotel has crossed the street has had numerous people report a woman in a black dress peering through the window late at night. Tourists and residents walking by have also reported the same thing. It is said the ghost that haunts this property can be traced back more than a century. In the early 1900s, a woman named Zoe St. Amon lived at 72 Queen with her sister, Elizabeth. Zoe was a school teacher, and it is said she'd given up on ever finding true love. Zoe and Elizabeth were very close, and the sisters preferred each other's company to the outside world. The sisters would continue to keep to themselves for decades. In 1945, Elizabeth died, and with Zoe's only friend gone, she became very withdrawn and very depressed. Soon Zoe's mental health quickly began to decline. One night Zoe left her house, hollering out her sister's name. Neighbors came out to check on Zoe, and one eventually took her to St. Francis Hospital. There, Zoe would spend the rest of her life. Stories of Zoe's ghost began shortly after she died, 
but really picked up once her residence was turned into a restaurant. In the 1970s, the property at 72 Queen Street was bought with the intention of turning the old Victorian house into a restaurant. It is said the owners moved out so quickly that they abandoned their dog, which was later to be named Hoogan. As the new owner became fond of the dog, the restaurant was named Pugan's Porch, where the dog, dog liked to be. Over the years, there's been hundreds of sightings and countless strange activity. Charleston, South Carolina, renowned for its food, hospitality, history, and culture, and still being such an old city, there tends to be lots of paranormal activity reported in haunted places. As such, Pugin's Porch stands out in a city rich with haunted places in history. Perhaps the most compelling part of the ghostly encounters are the sheer number of independent witnesses who have reported either seeing Zoe or having a paranormal experience. Patrons have also reported spotting Pugin, the dog, although less frequently than Zoe. Based on the various encounters, Zoe doesn't appear to ever harm guests, but she seems to be just a soul searching for her long-lost best friend.